Welcome to BTN.com. Amina Smith here, and I'm joined now by Wisconsin Volleyball senior setter Lauren Carlini. Lauren, you guys are coming off of a tough week of matchups. You guys dominated Ohio State but had a little bit of trouble against Purdue. What was some of the most challenging things about facing that team? I think with Purdue, we always have great matchups with them. Um, we match up with them really well in terms of blocking. They have huge blockers up there, um, and our offense is pretty powerful as well. And so defensive battles are always strong against them. And although the numbers didn't show it, um, that we won that game, I thought we battled super hard in the fifth. And um, our competition and how we handled that pressure was what really pulled it out for us. And you guys had a two-set lead in that matchup before Purdue began to battle back. How did you guys mentally stay in that game to win? Yeah, I mean, sets three and four were tough. Uh, we really had to battle, and they were, they were getting some gain, and um, they were finding ways to score. And so in the fifth, we, we said three words, strength, confidence, execution. And those were our main points that we focused on, and winning that huge second rally um, really got it going for us. Our defense always pulls through, and... I think that's what really pushed us through in the fifth set. And it's your senior year, your last shot at an NCAA title. Yeah. Is that something that's constantly on your mind during games and in practice? Um, not so much in matches. Uh, we tend to think of it, you know, one game at a time. Uh, the little things build up to the big, the big picture at the end. And so we focus on the process, not really at the end result. During practice, I think about it probably a little bit more, just, you know, Am I getting better this practice? Is the team getting better this practice? Um, are we where we at? Are we where we need to be to win a national championship? Are we going to get there? So um, those are the questions that we're constantly asking ourselves, and we're focusing on that every day in the gym, and every time we step on the court, are we contending like a national championship team? And Wisconsin is back in the number one spot for the NCAA RPI. How did the team react to that, and does that do anything for you ladies' confidence? Um, you know, we don't look at polls or rankings or stats a ton as a team. We focus on getting better and what we need to do to become um, a national championship contender. And so it was cool being recognized as RPI just because we played such a tough schedule and, you know, people are noticing that. So that's good to be recognized, but at the same time, it's not the main thing that we talk about or focus on. How much would it mean to you to compete for a national title, especially with you ladies being so close? I mean, we've been building these last three, four years where we're trying to build a culture and a program where this is what we expect of ourselves year in and year out, and we hold those standards for ourselves. And so we want to win a, in the Big Ten Championship and a National Championship. It's never been done before here at Wisconsin, and we want to be the first. And um, we've built that standard, we've built that culture, and now we just we want to execute and we want to do it. And especially being a senior, there's a little bit more urgency there. So. I definitely feel it, feel pressure. <laughs> and let's take it back to that Penn State victory. After four long years, you yeah. finally get a win against them. How did that feel to check that off your list? Oh, it felt good. I mean, we came out firing in that match. We, we wanted it really bad, and we knew that that team played with fire, and they competed hard, and we wanted to outcompete them. And I think we did a great job of that. We, we executed at an extremely high level, and just to finally do it um, and finally be Penn State and know what that feels like, it was, it was a great win for us. And I saw that you described not beating them kind of as a hex that you had against you over the last four <laughs> years. What made that opponent so difficult to beat? Man, they, they have sustained excellence. Um, what they have as a program is what we, uh, Wisconsin, want to be at at some point. They've won, I think, something close to like 10 out of the last 11 or 12 national championships. And we want that level of sustained excellence. And so um, I think that and having that on your mind as you're playing a match with a team like Penn State, that's, that's kind of hard to get off your mind in the moment. And so um, I think this last match we really just let it loose um, and played hard and came out well for us. Right now, we're two weeks out from the end of the regular season, three weeks out from the NCAA tournament. Guys, how are you preparing to become national title contenders? Yeah, I mean, we're trying to build this level of consistency. Um, sometimes we find ourselves lulling in middle of games or right when we come out, and so we are just trying to make those, those times more consistent um, for, long, for longer amounts of time. So being great at the little things, we're focusing on details now. 
um, and just fine-tuning little things. It's not making drastic differences. It's what are we doing every day in practice, and is this helping us um, to win a national championship um, in about a month here? So really just focusing on the details, on the process, um, you know, not making huge changes so far. And being a senior is always bittersweet. What's the fairy tale ending that you're envisioning for your team this season? Oh, well, hopefully in three weeks we um, win a Big Ten championship <laughs> at Minnesota. That's what we're going for. We need one more loss from Penn State. I mean, um, Nebraska. We need that um, for us to win a Big Ten championship. And then after that, we reset. It's basically a new season, and we amp it up a whole nother level come tournament time. And so... Uh, winning a Big Ten championship and then winning a national championship on December 17th. thats That would be the icing on the cake. Lauren, it's been great talking to you. Thanks so much and good luck this season. Thank you. I appreciate it.